I love it. Oh, I feel like I'm Elton John in this. Oh my God, look at this dress if I pull the girls up. I love it. Let's pretend I'm not spilling out the side. This next piece you will actually all die over. <laughs> Can you say cheese? Cheese. Oh, <laughs> ah, I'm being eaten alive by a puppy dog. Hey, honeys, welcome back to our channel. So many kisses from mum today. Love you. If you haven't guessed by today's title, then I am doing, or we are doing, a festive outfit look haul. So as it's the beginning of December, some of you may have some Christmas parties coming. Some of you may be going out for lunch with friends, dinners, going around to their houses, work night outs, work day outs, or maybe you just want to look nice for Christmas day. So I am here for you all with so many outfits right in front of me, ranging from what I class as casual to super glam and I am ready for it. I am so excited to try these on for you. These are some of my idea for outfits that I would like to wear over the festive season and some things I cannot wait to try on. So I think we'll start from casual and go from there. Everything that I will have in this lookbook haul video I will try and link down below for you as usual. If for whatever reason it's not available anymore I will link something very similar down. And we have my side chick you coming in just for a quick second, ready? Where's your belly? You say hi! Where's your belly? Oh, you gonna help mummy choose outfits? Yes, so we have a very suki, lovey poppy to come and help <laughs> and supervise these outfits for you all. So yes, Poppy will give her ratings out of 10 <laughs> once she stops kissing me. <laughs> so starting off on the casual side, we're gonna start with this ribbed H&M off the shoulder top which is so cute. It's got the wee slit in the sleeve and just very, very pretty. And I love this, this does not break the bank. And then bottom half, we're gonna go with this leather skirt from Nasty Gal, which I think is just an absolute staple in anyone's autumn winter wardrobe. And then shoe wise, I think we're gonna finish it off with these full leather, like cowboy Givenchy Duke boots from Ego. And I absolutely love these and you do not have to worry about cold legs. So this is a look with no jacket on. I love this, this is just so classic and very casual. But just to put some luxury in it, I'm gonna pop on this faux fur coat from H&M and my Chanel 19. And oh my God, this jacket is so, so cozy. And to finish this look off, I probably just pop either a brown nude lip on or just pop a wee bit of red just to give it a wee bit of colour. And I love this outfit, I would wear this all the time. And there's just something about knee high boots, especially cowboy boots, that just make us petite girls look taller than we actually are. I love it. This coat is so cosy and I think it's only £60, which I think is fantastic for H&M and it's really thick. It also does come in black. I decided to pick up the brown just for a wee color change. So that's outfit number one. Outfit number two, we are starting off with this fantastic, gorgeous pink sequin skirt and then pairing it with this oversized pink knitted jumper from Zara. I picked it up in a size too small. I never know what size I am with H&M. Bottom half, I'm either a six, eight or a 10. So the last pair of bottoms I picked up from H&M, I picked up in a size eight. So I did the same for the skirt and I cannot close it. <laughs> and then finishing the look off with these beautiful eat crew boots from Zara. I'm just a sucker for knee high boots. So let's pretend I'm not spilling out the side. So here's the finished look in the pink. This gorgeous jumper keeps you so, so warm. Like I'm already sweating. I just love the pink and sequins just make it so festive and cute. And then I just love the contrast between the pink sequins and the Ypres boots. And if I had a little white bag, I would use that too. But at the moment, I can't be bothered going next door. Actually, I do have my pink Jacquemus over there. Hold on. And then either if you had a pink bag, like I've got my Le Chiquito from Jacquemus, or a wee white bag, I think that would look also so cute. And who doesn't love a bit of pink in the festive season? Oh, this lipstick. 
<gasps> that's where it went. Casual outfit number three is this gorgeous red knitted dress from H&M. Look how cute that is. This is so thick, it's actually quite heavy. I think this dress was £50, but I would definitely say worth it. I love this. This is so cute. I love the fact that this is knitted. The sleeves are a little bit long, but I am short. So we're used to that, aren't we, folks? And I'm not, I'm not quite sure what shoes. By the way, these we like these small ankle boots from Zara, or we could go with knee highs. This would be so cute for Christmas Day if you were a red girl. And just a very simple hairstyle. I probably have mine down and tucked behind my ears and a wee red lippy on. So next we're still on the casual spectrum, but we are adding just a little bit of glitz from the rhinestones at the bottom here. And to be honest, I think this is what I'm going to wear for Christmas day this year. Ooh, I love it. What do you think, Pops? Mommy look cute. I also love the wee high neck detail. I am a sucker for high necks. I just think they're so classy. And yes, I have the suck em in pants on because I need that. I love this little leg slit detail and the rhinestones at the bottom. So shoe wise, can we just pretend these are not absolutely filthy? Because, because that's just reality right now. Don't know, you could pair knee high boots, but I'm not loving this. So I might change shoes into something a little bit more Christmassy. So I'll probably pick these shoes from Public Desire. Now I already have them in white because I absolutely love them. So I thought I'd pick them up in essential black as well. These gorgeous platform mules. Like these look terrifying, but these are like the easiest things I've ever walked in. And they give me so much more height. Can we just pretend I have a tan? And that would look so cute. I do also have rhinestone heels somewhere, but I honestly have no idea where they are. But I just think this is so casual, so cute, and a little bit glitz as well. Okay, so we're still kind of on the casual side, but let's be honest, these are not casual. Look how beautiful these are. Now, I'm going to butcher this name because I'm not French. But it's from a brand called Manier de Voir. I think that's how you say it. So I have these jeans which are so cute. I have picked up these jeans. I love rhinestone jeans. And I love the fact that these are not tacky in the slightest. These are so cute. And of course I picked up the matching top too. Now I have tried these jeans on and I know they are a wee bit long for me. So I will need to cut them eventually. Okay, so this top fastening is not the funnest. Okay, so because this is denim, this does not have the hugest amount of stretch as we can see. I think this is so cute. It is a little bit big. I think if I size down, I don't think it would fit me across the chest. This is the back. The back is like a racer style, which is so cute. And I love the jeans. I love, 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 love the jeans. I don't think I like the top just because I don't like the style on me and the fact that these have come undone. But maybe if we pair the jeans with just a plain top, they would look so cute. Next, I'm gonna try on this jumpsuit from Club L London. So this is the jumpsuit. I picked this up in a size eight and honestly, it's the comfiest thing I think I've ever felt. And it's actually not too long which I'm quite surprised at because they don't do this in petite at all. And it's very forgiving. So it's gonna forgive all that Christmas dinner and Christmas pudding that we eat. And I love the asymmetric top. I think with my hair down, I would absolutely love this. And shoes, we're just gonna stick these babies back on. So now it actually fits to the floor with the shoes on and makes me look taller. I love this. They also do it in a different colour and I think, I'm going to go so far and say I think if you wanted a jumpsuit this festive period, 
I would definitely pick this one up from Club L London. 100% recommend. It's so, so comfortable. I love it. So sticking to Club L London, we have a red piece, which I'm very excited to try on. And I hope the fact that it doesn't suit me and it doesn't fit so that I can send it back. Because I don't need it. But I do love it. It is a red blazer dress. And I'm not sure that's actually going to fit me. Absolutely not a chance. Okay, thankfully I don't love this. I feel like I'm too scared to move. Because otherwise we're going to come out. Like I can't relax in it. I have to keep my shoulders up and back. <laughs> I'd love this if it was made for short people. Yeah, I just feel like I'm going back to these shoes. I feel like I would choose these shoes again from Public Desire. So next we're sticking with a red number, but this time it's from Opoly. I am really disappointed by this dress. Really disappointed. Like why does this sit off to the side? And then, like I don't have the biggest chest, but bloody hell. I'm really gutted because this is so cute. Like this bit feels great. This bit does not look great. And it's meant to tie the bag. I love the corset detailing and it's in this lovely red mesh. So she's another number going back. Next sticking with Opoly is this black number which is what I think I'm actually going to wear to my Christmas party with work. So let's hope she looks nice and she fits nice. So I absolutely love this dress so much. Just excuse those. So you can pair it with black heels. But I'm actually going for something different. So shot corner, we're going for another set of public desire heels. And we're actually going to go green. These look so scary. Like, can we just pretend I tied those properly? Then, for my outerwear, because this is going to be my jacket blazer of the evening and I am so excited. I have always loved this piece from Zara. But thank you Black Friday sales. I need a different green pair of shoes. And then I also do have this new baby, which I've lost the strap for. Oh my god, I love it. Love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Got my new baby and I'm so excited. It's gonna be her first outing. I might just wear black shoes in the end actually because this green is too much for me. I think this is a little too much. I'm not sure though. Next outfit, I have this white number from Odd Muse, which I'm absolutely loving. So let's try her on. Honestly, if you haven't tried an Odd Muse blazer, then I don't know where you've been hiding. Like I already have this blazer in camel and black. So to go perfectly with this look, which is the Odd Muse blazer and the shorts, I found the perfect pair of shoes on Public Desire. So how much are they giving you Jimmy Choo vibes? I love these. I'm honestly dying to wear this somewhere. Like this would be perfect for a hen party, bridal shower. And these blazers are honestly, they're not just a blazer that you'll throw out, it's an investment piece. Like these are so thick and I love the points on the blazer arms just something so different and it comes with the belts as well. I did buy the shorts separately but yes I love these. I love this look and I just think she would go with it too. <laughs> this next piece you will actually all die over because I am one of the very lucky ones to manage to get my hands on it and I've done so well because I have not opened it yet. It's this gorgeous dress from Odd Muse and it's their famous black pearl dress. Oh my god, look at this dress if I pull the girls up. Oh. oh my god. This dress is giving me boobs. 
I like it. It's so figure flattering. And I just feel, I feel so pretty in it. Again, so this is from Odd Muse. And if you can get your hands on this dress, then well done. And I'm super excited because they are actually bringing out a white version on Tuesday. So I am number 20 on their waiting list and hopefully I can get my hands on it. I absolutely love the pearl detailing around like the bust and shoulders and it does carry on around to the back. And again, these black mules from Public Desire. If I can walk backwards in them. Looks so cute. I have a feeling this is what I'm wearing for New Year. It's either this one or the white one. If I can get the white one. Honestly, if you haven't tried Odd Muse, you need to. Like, don't be sleeping on Odd Muse because they are absolutely fantastic and have such quality pieces. Like, this dress feels like the blazers and it's double lined as well. Just made with such high quality. And I can't stop spinning in this dress. <laughs> and then moving on to the last outfit. You guys are not ready for this. Like, are you ready? Oh my God, there's glitter going everywhere. So lastly, I picked up this three piece from I Saw It First in the silver glitter, which I had such high hopes for, <laughs> but it's not doing it for me. Like this is such a cute look for New Year, New Year's Eve. But this is so ill-fitting, like that doesn't even hug my body. The trousers are even loose and they're really long and these are a size 8. The blazer's probably the best of them all, but the blazer is not fantastic quality. I mean it is lined on the inside so you can't feel the glittery fabric, but just not doing it for me. I think these would look cute with some black like strappy heels. If you were taller and I'm not the biggest busted but I'm also not the smallest. The top is a like a one size clip and there's no stretch at all obviously because it's glittery but that is just sitting there. That's not very safe. I did have high hopes for this. Now, if I could have I would have picked up the SLA three piece but I couldn't so this was the next best thing and honestly <laughs> obviously it was cheaper it was from I saw it first I mean it's not bad if you're on budget but not what I was looking for I'm afraid so that's it for this festive outfit lookbook haul try on haul thing I hope you guys did enjoy it and you did get some ideas out of this there was honestly some fantastic pieces which are top notch and other pieces which unfortunately were not. But that's okay because I couldn't have everything anyway. I need to send stuff back because Facker would be raging if I kept it all. So that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and to subscribe if you haven't already. And we'll see you in my next video. Bye guys. Mwah.